afternoon. So I just went home, um, hence all the mess. Um, lots of two strokes everywhere. We're growing, we need some more, but anyway. Um, so I just about to do some HVNs for customer, going some rail motors. So these are um, two valve injector. But all the engines they have are running two valve, so they're using the old two valve injector body. What we're going to do is I'm going to put some N70 guts in there and make them fit. So, to, in, in, and to do that, we have to machine the body. So, you can actually see I've machined the body there. I should have started this anyway before I did these first two, but anyway. So, I machined this one, got him nice and shortened up. So you, as you can see, that body's like that. This is what standard one looks like. So I chop oh, all that off and some and a, and a couple of threads. Um, so and that'll make it the same as your N70, your N55. So it's a N55 body, but so it'll make it the same height as that. Um, so I'll just, I should actually just measure it. So I'll just measure him. So two inches, 40, 46. Two inches, 46 is the, um, so we've got to take off, shit. 330 thou, roughly, 330 something thou, 320 something. So, chop that off. There, 46, there, so. we have got to get it down to two, two inches and 46 thou. So, lop all that off there, and lop all that material off there, and set that. So, just got the little, Three jaw lathe, very messy on there. Oops, there's a stubby and there's another one there ready to go. Um, so we're just gonna load him up in the three jaw. Poor old three jaw. Copped a bit of a pizzler not long ago and broke a jaw. I had to get another one. It, um, actually couldn't get another jaw, so I had to um, pinch bits out of another one. I've lost my Alan Key out of here, two seconds. So, tipped him up. So I'm just... This lathe doesn't go very fast. So, sort of got to be a bit patient with it. It's not the... Lock him off. Screw him back so he locks in so he doesn't piss about. Trying to lock him in here on the bed. Alright. Plenty of clearance there to spin him round. Alright. So I'll come up close to it in a second. Just to make sure we're running pretty true. Yes we are. Not chattering off it, so yep. So I'll machine this down. Can't do big cuts with this, and it's also not holding the. Um, it doesn't like doing big cuts. Just because it's only a little lathe. So, I don't want to destroy the body either. Probably a pretty big cut for this. And besides, the chuck's not the, the best. And it actually bounces over the holes in the two holes in the three holes in the three holes in a. Three holes in a um, Three holes in a 
difference is there's two holes and a slot, so it doesn't like them. It bounces over a bit. It, if it went a bit faster, it would be nicer. But anyway, it's only a little lathe, so I'm just going to chop these down, make them fit, and then it'll be back to the workshop tomorrow to set up some bodies in there, some N70 plungers and bushes. We've got all new plungers and bushes, tips, springs, cages, check valves, all the rest of it. So it'll be a sort of brand new injector. They've been running these two valves and still are in the locomotives at the moment. So we've sort of gone to that. They're a bit slobbery. They do a lot of idling. So this will be a bit better than the old Dribbly HV7s. And hopefully they'll have a bit more power out of them. I've been up there lately. Um, we'll see in another video later. That um, another video. I've just been up there fixing up overheating engines, wrong thermostats, all sorts of fun stuff. So anyway, I'll get these machined. So not very exciting. I don't want to stand there and watch me machine them, but that's where I'm at. That's what I'm starting with, and then I'll update with the rest.